Hey guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So I have another long awaited video planned for you guys today. So I have had quite a few requests about a video about my lighting and camera setup that I use for YouTube and Instagram. If you guys are interested in learning about the equipment that I use for my filming setup, then keep watching. So pretty much the main star of the show, which you can probably see in the reflection of my glasses right now is my Diva Supernova ring light. I have actually had the Diva Supernova for quite some time now. That was the very first piece that I ever purchased. It was a great investment for me. It definitely stepped up my game with my lighting, especially when I did first buy it, it was just for photographs on Instagram, but it definitely helped because some days there was days where there was great natural lighting. Uh, and as you know, some days there are days where it's terrible. And if you've just done a full face of gorgeous makeup and can't get a picture, then that's pretty damn annoying. So the Diva Supernova ring light was definitely uh, my first and greatest investment. I still have the same one that I use right now for, I think I've had it for over three years now. I use it every single day to apply my makeup. I use it to film and I use it probably about 95% of the time to take my photos as well. I also use it for when I'm doing microblading for eyebrows as well. So I'm going to be switching over to a different camera for this just so you guys can see the lighting setup that I have. This is directly in front of me right now. So in the middle I have the Diva Supernova ring light and then I have two beauty dishes either side of them. They are at about uh, medium dim right now. All of the lighting that I have is dimmable. I think that this is pretty important because sometimes you need more light and other times you don't need as much, especially if you have like a little bit of natural daylight while you're filming too. Let me take you around to the back. So this is the Diva Supernova ring light. As you can see right here, it's got um, a on off and then a dimmer which you can turn up or down to brighten the subject more if you need. I did purchase this bracket separately with it for my camera instead of having the ring light which normally comes with a gooseneck uh, which is the gooseneck is what I use for my microblading. It was just a lot easier to have this bracket with it so that I can set up my camera right there as well. If you are using this light just for photos though, I would recommend with just staying with the uh, gooseneck arm that comes with it. These are my prismatic beauty dishes that I have either side of those and those are also dimmable as well. Um, sometimes, especially when I'm doing lip swatch videos, I like to have this light a little bit brighter and then the one on the other side not as bright so it's not blowing out the whole subject too. So that right there is my lighting setup. This is the Canon Rebel T5i that I use all of the time for my filming. The reason why I love this is because it has the little viewfinder so you can see if you're in focus or not. It's been a pretty good camera for me. I've had it for at least two years now. I don't really plan on upgrading anytime soon because this pretty much does the trick for me. That whole little section that I did just then was with my Sony A5100 camera. This is actually the camera that I use for selfies and for vlogging. I like this camera for selfies because it does have the viewfinder up here so you can see yourself when you're taking a picture as well. I do like it for vlogging. I actually don't ever use it to film any of my YouTube videos. I don't know if you could see the difference between the quality and the sound with this one, but it's just not quite as great as my Canon T5i for filming. So I also have this Rode Mic Pro on top of my DSLR camera as well. Pretty much the Rode Mic Pro was a little bit of a game changer for me. It definitely improves the sound quality of your videos a lot. It also eliminates the background noise as well. So I've definitely noticed a difference between the videos that I was filming at the beginning with and without it. So that sums up my setup. I have the Diva Supernova ring light, which is amazing for selfies, photography. I always use it for my YouTube videos. It was the first piece of lighting that I ever 
invested in. So if you are looking at starting up a YouTube channel, I would definitely recommend to get a ring light and a great DSLR camera for starters. They are expensive and it definitely is an investment. So make sure it's something that you want to keep up with. Having a YouTube channel is definitely hard work and can be a little bit expensive in the beginning when you are getting all of this equipment. I have seen a lot of these types of videos that say, don't rush out and get all of the most expensive equipment right at the beginning. And I do agree with that, but I also agree that you will have to spend a little bit of money and a good DSLR camera and a good quality ring light is definitely two things that you will absolutely need. Uh, the other little bits and bobs that I have, like the beauty dishes, I only got those probably about six months ago and my video quality was fine without them. I just like the extra lighting that it gives to the side of the face sometimes. Times. And then the mic as well was definitely a game changer in the audio production of my videos. So I'm not a huge tech geek. Pretty much the way that I found out about all of the equipment that I purchased was through looking through a lot of YouTube videos and articles about other vloggers that have already purchased this stuff. This is actually the exact same camera that Battlelash used to use. So I did ask them about that. This mic is another recommendation from a friend who's a really great vlogger as well. So like I said the Diva Supernova ring light was the very first piece that I purchased and it definitely stepped my game up in terms of image quality for Instagram and then later it was great to use with my YouTube videos. I did purchase this from DVE store a long time ago and I am just so so happy. There are lots of different options of ring lights but I chose to go for one that was in the kind of medium price range. I did have a friend that bought the super cheap ring light from Amazon and it was literally broken within three months. This one I've had for a really long time as well. So I did get this from DVE store and they also have amazing customer service when I was looking to make the production of my videos a little bit better. All I did was email them and they actually watched some of my YouTube videos and suggested that I get the beauty dish lights either side as well for some better lighting quality for my videos. So me not being a tech person, that was extremely helpful. Every single time I've ever had a question about anything, their customer service is just freaking brilliant and that's something that I truly appreciate rather than trying to chintz out and get something off Amazon and then when it breaks, the seller is nowhere to be seen. I'll make sure I leave all of the links and product descriptions of all of this equipment down below and I hope this has been helpful for you. It is kind of a basic setup that I have, but I think that it really does the trick. Also, the only other thing that I think that you could possibly have questions on is what uh, I use for my video editing. And I have a MacBook Pro and I just use iMovie for now. I think eventually I will step up my game to more of a professional editing program, but for now, I'm pretty comfortable with iMovie and it's pretty easy to use. I just Googled YouTube how to use iMovie and it that's how I learned. So yeah, all of this stuff has purely came from recommendations and just searching around. So this is what's great for me. Um, hopefully it might help you out if you do want to step your game up on Instagram or YouTube or whatever it may be. Thanks for tuning in guys. And if you have any questions at all, make sure you drop them below and I'll try my best to answer them. And I will see you guys around for my next video. Bye.